and we're going to be late. Something is changing Now I'm moving Oh, I guess we will see Just what I'll do Who I'll do Yes! I'm not walking away I'm not leaving behind I'm just heading in bold Into what I will find Nothing else matters Well now I'm finding my home I never imagined to be here alone All these lessons to learn on my own I'm trying to make it all up Cause I go alone I'm at the beginning, I'll fight to the end My troubles are easy with you now, my friend Nothing's impossible now Something is changing Something is changing. Something is changing. I think it's So why should you attend an applicant day? Well, chat to Kurin students and meet your future classmates. Tour our beautiful campus. And your next home from home. Explore your department. And get a taste of your subject. See where you'll be learning and what you'll discover. Impatient to get to know us? Book on to an applicant day now. Every year our students gather together on today a particularly cold morning to, um, to inscribe the 30 articles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights into the stairs um, as a statement, an expression of the importance of human rights to all of us, but particularly to the university and to the Human Rights Centre. 
So for the next several weeks and months, people using campus crossing these stairs will be reminded or will learn about the importance of human rights. So that's ultimately the purpose. We'll be here again next year. I want to take a moment to thank all of our volunteers. There are 30 or 40 volunteers, almost all of them are students. Um, so again, it's a testament to the, the passion of, uh, of human rights students here at the University of Essex. We are Essex. We are people who push the frontiers of knowledge. People who love to learn how, but want to question why. We'll help you explore, challenge and create informed, powerful ideas. We'll support you to discover new ground with our research excellence. We'll nurture your hard work and ambition through teaching and one-to-one -one support from world-leading academics and researchers. We'll continue to invest in the best facilities and support services for all of our students. And in addition to all of this, you'll be part of our diverse and international community with students and staff from every corner of the planet. Because we are a global research and learning community that lives, works and plays together. Whatever you hope to gain from studying with us, whether it's advancing your career to learning more about your passion, we will prepare you for your next step. Now is the time to delve deeper, to work harder and to learn more. Now is the time to study a postgraduate degree at Essex. The Performance Support Programme at the University of Essex is really special. We have fantastic staff that work with our athletes, from our performance coaches, our strength and conditioning coaches, our performance analysts. We have fantastic facilities in our Essex Sport Arena, our new performance analysis coaching room and our locker room. And we're constantly striving for excellence. We have fantastic facilities. We have academic flexibility policy. You can study any course and you'll fall under that policy. We have lifestyle advisors, we have workshops, we have physiotherapists, sports therapists, and we are constantly striving to be better. I would describe the University of Essex Performance Support Programme as revolutionary. We have built on our success over the last eight years and we are now competing at professional sports level. We compete on a Wednesday as Essex Blades and we compete on a weekend with our Essex Rebels professional teams. I would describe the program as elite, difficult, challenging, worthwhile, kind of all these things put together, create something that you know I'd want to be a part of and really look forward to doing for the next few years. The facilities for me are second to none in the country. I've been to a lot of gyms in England and they don't come close to here. And then also competition wise, with Bucks and NBL, it allows you to prepare for those competitions in the right way. Obviously, Bucks in the week is very important for the university, and then for the club as a whole on the weekends, we're trying to compete and win trophies, so the facilities help massively. I would recommend coming here because I think the opportunities we get on campus as a performance team are very special. I have also studied in the US and played football there, and I think here is a more personalized environment and also the opportunities we get in terms of the environment. So we have great coaching staff, we have SNC programs, we have great facilities, amazing pitches, gym. And I think that helps me as an athlete and it helps the people around me. And I feel myself grow as a person as well in this environment and become a better player and teammate for those around me. The accommodation we have is part of the package. We are in the athlete's village. It's really close to the arena, so you're really close to pretty much your second home. 
and you're with like-minded people. Everyone's there for a reason, they're doing a sport. Especially if they're in the performance program, it really helps because they know what you're going through and they know kind of what your day-to-day -day life is like. The uh, training is really, really good. We train every day. You can see people grow and it can be slow, but you can tell over time that people as a team are getting better and individually we're getting better. And that's alongside the gym workouts with Justin, with our SNC coach. The work that I do here at Essex is essentially to try and support everything physical with all of the athletes, from improving their performance, rehabilitating injuries, uh, and essentially trying to manage their loading to make them sure they're at their best when it comes to game day. We focus on building relationships with each of those athletes. The better my relationship is with the athletes, the more buy-in that they're going to have, and generally the, the better improvements we'll see in what they do. We also offer bursaries for undergrad and postgrad students. Bursaries can be used for things like equipment and it can also be used for event play to help you towards your travel if you wish to play a tournament outside the university. Also, it can also be used for, to help you with your stay here at the university as well. Tennis has grown at the university and this is due to the financial support to allow us to grow and to become one of the leading tennis programmes in the UK. So the scholarship opportunity offers me just the opportunity to be here, you know? I think if it wasn't for the scholarship, I would not be able to, to be here today. And I'm just incredibly thankful for that. As an international, it's not just harder to be away from family, but financially it's even harder because it's actually more expensive for internationals. So having a scholarship, it's vital for us and so, I'm incredibly thankful to be able to have the scholarship. Hi, I'm Barry and welcome to the Colchester Campus Tour. We're starting off by the lakes, a beautiful place to study or just have a barbecue with your friends. This campus is made of five squares surrounded by lovely parkland. So, let's get started. This is the Silverad Student Centre, where you'll find student information, plenty of study spaces, and our finance and IT support desks. At the back of Silverad is where we have our creative studios for everything student media related. Next to Silverad, you'll find the Lakeside Theatre, a 200-seat theatre where we host various productions and live screenings all throughout the year. Let's head over there now. This is the Albert Sloman Library. It's our main library on campus with six floors of books and archives, as well as our famous Paternoster Lift, one of only two in the UK. This is the Ivercrew Lecture Hall. As well as having some of your lectures here throughout your studies, it's also where we have graduation to celebrate the end of your degree. Opposite Ivor Crew is Art Exchange. Here we have various art exhibits as well as workshops and events throughout the year. Now let's go to square four. Here is where you're going to find our campus store where you can go and pick up a few bits that you need as well as most of our food outlets including Buffalo Joe's and Top Bar. Now we're on square three. This is where you'll find the Students' Union reception, as well as more of our food outlets, and the biggest bar on campus, the SU Bar. You can join in on a quick pub quiz, or just play pool and hang out with your friends. Under square three is where we have our nightclub, Sub-Zero. We have loads of club events, DJ nights, and solo artists come and perform. 
every Thursday we have our market on campus where we have loads of local vendors who will come and showcase what they have. Now we're in LTB, the Lecture Theatre Building. This is where you're going to have most of your lectures, but it's also where you'll find the Students' Union Cinema. Welcome to the Sports Arena. Seating over 1,500 people, it's home to our Essex Rebels sports teams. We also have a sports hall, pitches, a gym, and even a climbing wall. Wednesdays are dedicated to sports here on campus. We have over 50 different sports clubs for you to join and choose from, and you also will have the opportunity to compete against other universities. The campus has loads of other interesting buildings, including the carbon neutral Essex Business School, Wivenhoe House Hotel, the STEM Centre and our teaching centres. We also have a variety of accommodation options covering all budgets ranging from the towers to the pastures. So that is our campus at a glance. It really does have everything you need. Hope you enjoyed the tour and we're looking forward to seeing you here soon. Hi, I'm Barry and welcome to the University of Essex South End Campus Tour. So we're starting off inside the forum. This is where you're going to find the library as well as our student support services. We have individual study pods as well as group study areas. And this is also where you're going to find your employability and careers team. Just across the road from the Forum is where you'll find the Gateway Building. In here is where we have IT labs, a common room and our Student Union Advice Centre where you as a student have access to free confidential advice. Students on our oral health science courses have the opportunity to work with our dental simulators to develop the skills they'll be using as hygienists or dental therapists. For our nursing and occupational therapy students, we have our high fidelity simulation suite. Students here can practice their clinical skills in a controlled environment before going out into the real world for their placements. Next to the Gateway Building is where you'll find the SU Lounge. This is the place to come and relax in between your lectures. The cafe in the lounge serves hot food, drinks and snacks, all at student-friendly prices. Clifftown Theatre is home to the world-renowned East 15 Acting School here in South End. It's a state-of-the-art performance venue inside this converted Gothic-style church. Inside, you have a main theatre room as well as five unique rehearsal studios, three of which have rigging bars for aerial circus practice. Heading out on the high street, you can find plenty of big name brands as well as loads of independently owned cafes and shops. We also have two shopping centres, Royals and the Victoria. Keep walking down the high street and soon you'll be at the seafront. Whether you're in the mood for an adrenaline rush or just want to relax at one of our award-winning beaches, there is plenty to do in South End. South End Pier is the longest pleasure pier in the world, stretching for over 1.3 miles. But don't worry, if you're not in the mood for walking, there's a train that runs the entire length of the pier. Next to the campus, we have a train station that has regular trains connecting South End and London. So that was our South End campus tour. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you here soon.
Please be seated. The Pro-Chancellor, Paul Jackson, will now open the ceremony and the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Anthony Forster, will deliver the opening address. Good afternoon, everyone. I declare this graduation ceremony open. A very warm welcome to our graduands and colleagues from Essex Business School and our very own staff who have completed postgraduate certificates in higher education practice. And also to parents, families and friends and to our university guests. Graduation really is the absolute high point of our academic year and today is a day of celebration. It's your day a moment to celebrate all your hard work and your many achievements. And on behalf of the university, I'd like to congratulate each and every one of you on the successful award of your degree. I know that you've worked hard during your time here, but knowing Essex students as I do, you'll have had a lot of fun along the way. And I truly hope you will leave with very fond memories of your time here. Your families, friends, and supporters have traveled many miles to be here and come from more than 140 countries to be part of the celebration. And here at the university, and especially today, is where you really do find the world in one place. For those of you whose loved ones have not been able to make the journey to join us here today, this graduation ceremony is being streamed live around the world. So I want to extend a very warm welcome to those watching and listening remotely, and I hope that you too feel part of this very special day. Now, the cameras are going to pan across the uh, auditorium, so please can I invite you all to welcome our viewers online with a wave, a shout, a whoop, stamping your feet, whatever way you can say you're really welcome. Thank you. You've every reason to be proud of having earned your university, university of Essex degree, and I'm delighted that the reputation of the university continues to grow. I'm proud that we're one of a small group of universities recognized for combining outstanding education with outstanding research. I'm proud that Essex is ranked 56th in the world for sustainability, 15th for the most international outlook in the Times Higher Education World University rankings, in the top 30 in the UK in the latest Guardian Guide, and 32nd in the latest Complete University Guide. And for the sixth year in a row, our wonderful Students' Union have been ranked as one of the top 10 Students' Unions in the country, and has just been shortlisted for the Students' Union of the Year Award at the up-and-coming What Uni Student Choice Awards. We're also ranked in the UK top 10 for research quality in four subjects in the government's most recent research assessment framework and in the UK top 10 for research power in five subjects. But many of the most wonderful achievements of the university are yours. I'm incredibly proud of the Essex spirit you've demonstrated throughout your time with us through engagement with sports clubs, cultural societies, the Students' Union, and as course representatives. All of these, I hope, helping equip you for the world of work. You've also been absolutely central to the positive effect we have on our local communities. I'm so proud to be able to say that Essex students go above and beyond in demonstrating your compassion and support for those most in need. Our Students' Union coordinates this activity and has recently been awarded the very prestigious King's Award for volunteering, the volunteering equivalent of an Oscar. In this academic year alone, our amazing students, including so many of you in this room, 
have volunteered more than 34,000 hours of time to make a positive difference to the lives of people in the local, national, and international community. So a very big thank you. And I hope that you too can feel optimistic about the future, and in particular, the impact that you can have to make the world a better place. Some of you will have already started jobs, and others will have moved into postgraduate study. The journey from student to citizen of the world is not always easy, but we want you to know that you are not alone and that we are here to support you. If you've not already decided what's next, we can help. We have hundreds of opportunities, ranging from paid graduate internships to short, intensive postgraduate certificate courses, as well as financial support and guidance if you're thinking about starting your own business. Ranked first in the UK for the number of knowledge transfer partnerships with businesses, I hope that it's no surprise that our business startup hub, based within our innovation centre on the Colchester campus, is a powerhouse for small businesses, providing early support for students and graduates developing your businesses, and I'd encourage you to explore the opportunities it might offer you. Today is not an ending. It's the continuation of your lifelong membership of the University of Essex. Please stay in touch with us. We want to know about your achievements, and we're here to help. Staying in touch gets you invitations to our events, allows you to keep using the library and online journals, and gives you access to all of our alumni benefits. So after the ceremony, please head to the sports arena, pick up your alumni card, and begin the next stage of your time with us. This year, as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the university, I'd like to end by reflecting on the university's founding vision and what having received a transformative education means for you for life. We've built our university on the idea that students and staff are members with a license to shape what goes on around them by exploring and questioning, pushing boundaries, being impatient for change, by having the ideas, the freedom, and the courage to challenge the status quo. We are a university that embraces inclusivity, internationalism, and intercultural understanding, a place where all staff and students are accepted for who you are. The University of Essex is unashamedly a community led by values a place where we believe in truth and in doing the right thing. And right now, in this world, these values matter more than ever. I hope that your time here has contributed to your understanding of who you are, of what you can achieve, and what you can change for the better. Be the vanguard of a movement to make the world a better place. Be kind to others. Listen to views that are different to your own. Disagree agreeably. Go out from here. Be excited. Be brave. Be scared. Be amazing. But above all, be yourselves. Make the world a better place in whatever way that you can. Thank you. We shall now proceed to the conferment of degrees. Uh, before we move to the formal words that lead to the conferment of degrees, I wanted to share with you something about the uh, graduation ceremonies at the University of Essex. Um, the, the Vice Chancellor's mentioned one or two of the sort of league tables that um, our education is very well rated in, which is absolutely fantastic. There isn't a formal league table for who has the loudest, most exciting graduation ceremonies in the country, but we think we'd probably be top. And it's down to you to be part of that today. I'm very conscious that we do have some empty seats due to flooding in the United Arab Emirates, uh, getting in the way of aeroplanes, visa problems, 
And the A12, which I'm afraid is one of the things that we have to put up with in Colchester, which I know has disrupted a lot of journeys today. So if you've made it through, thank you very much. Others will probably join us later. Uh, so what I'd ask you to do is to stamp your feet, um, obviously applaud, uh, whoop as much as you, you like, um, and welcome to those that are coming from the A12 now. They've probably had quite a difficult afternoon. Um, and really show your appreciation, not just for your own friends and family, but there are some people here, particularly our international students, whose families uh, won't have been able to join them. So feel free to whoop for someone you've never met before as well. So uh, once I've said those formal words to kick us off, would you mind just having a bit of a practice and really getting stuck in and uh, do some foot stamping? Oh, that's good. So, uh, let me say the words and then you can have a good cheer as well. I confer on all eligible graduates presented at this ceremony, in person or in absentia, the degrees, diplomas and certificates to which they are entitled. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Claudia Giradone, Dean of the Essex Business School, will now introduce the school. It is with very great pleasure and enormous pride that I present to you this morning the graduates from our Strategy, Operations and Entrepreneurship subject group at Essex Business School. Essex Business School is the largest department in the university with over 2,500 students, of which about half are postgraduates. We are truly international business school with two-thirds of our students and nearly half of the staff coming from outside the UK. Our philosophy is that excellence in research feeds into excellence in education. We are committed to delivering research which changes lives and helps make the world a better place. In the 2021 Research Excellence Framework, the UK government's review of research across all universities, Essex was 20th in the UK for research power in business and management. And our Essex Business School research has broken through management silos in the NHS, helped improve the public services in India, enhance public sector accountability in Nepal, and change policy on food prices at the global level. To all of you who have traveled from near and far, welcome to this ceremony. This afternoon, students from Essex Business School will be awarded their degrees, and I would like to offer my personal congratulations and those of my colleagues to all the students graduating at this ceremony. You have worked very hard in an incredibly challenging time and achieved great success. Well done. As well as your substantial academic achievements, the students here have contributed greatly to the life of the university and the local area. For example, through promoting social enterprise, being part of the EBS student engagement team, mentoring peers in maths and Bloomberg skills, and working with local charities, businesses and organizations, including the NHS. Others have taken part in interdisciplinary collaborative initiatives uh, in partnerships with Citizens UK, a community organizing group, where they have engaged with live issues that matter to them and the local community, including, for example, living wage, affordable housing, transport, and community cohesion. We've had so many positive role models amongst the student cohort. Again, for all this and much more, well done and thanks. The mission of Essex Business School is to deliver a transformative education and research excellence that has a positive impact on business, people and society. We create knowledge, deepen understanding and aim to develop innovative, responsible and ethical leaders. 
To this end, we offer more than 40 courses at undergraduate and postgraduate level across the range of business disciplines. Additionally, the Essex MBA is further designed, designed to foster future business leaders. Our MBA program is accredited by the prestigious AMBA, the Association of MBAs, placing Essex Business School in the top 2% of business schools in the world. Our MBA students want to use their creativity, innovation and ethical spirit to solve global business challenges. And our high-quality bespoke executive education is for directors and managers from all spheres of economic life. This year, we launched a new short-term placement module for our undergraduate students, combining research and work-based learning pathways. In addition, in all our programs, we are focusing on strengthening the content around two pillars, digitalization, and sustainability. Our aim is to equip our students with the necessary skills and mindset to thrive in a rapidly evolving job market, while also fostering a culture of responsibility towards the environment and society. Teaching on our degrees are some of the best educators and researchers around. Our staff have won awards for the quality of the teaching and research and have also been commended for the positive and real impact they've had outside academia, regionally and internationally, including for financial inclusion, crisis management, gender and work, commodity pricing, and many others. As it is exciting times for the school and the university, it is an exciting time for you, our graduates. I wish every success in your future career path. You all have an important contribution to make, not only in your career, but also to the people around you and society at large. Clearly, in this volatile economic and political climate, knowledge and learning is of fundamental importance, and I would encourage all our graduates to continue with their education in some form or another. We want to hear from you in the future, so please keep in touch, particularly via the Alumni Association. Finally, again, enjoy the day as we celebrate your success. Thank you. Professor Niraj Kumar from the Essex Business School will now present the graduates to the Pro Chancellor. Pro Chancellor, the following graduates from the Essex Business School are present. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Ikoa, Jose, Maria, Candice, Chardin, Danho. The first tete. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Business Management, Bear Mohammed Abdul Kadhadia. Madhila Justin. For the degree of Master of Business Management, Murad Ahmed Abid. Applause 
Bender Alazev. <laughs> Abdul Ali. <laughs> Nandu Anil Kumar Sova. Naveen Arichandran. <laughs> Aloha Buni Imoloeo Awobukun. <laughs> Prano Badam. Nikhil Belagata. <laughs> Bharti. <laughs> Trilok Chakalam. <laughs> Ganeshan Chandran. Nisi Chauhan. <laughs> Varun Chintala. <laughs> Dona Mioli Ilavitagala. Jeel Bipul Kumar Gandhi. <laughs> Vardhan Ghai. <laughs> Tayava Ghori. <laughs> Ashfaq Ahmad Iban Ali. Viraz Jagani. <laughs> Sagar Mahipat Jani. <laughs> Akhil Jayakumar Sindhu. Bhargav Joshi. <laughs> Colleen Agaba Kabagambi. <laughs> Gurvinder Kaur. Khalid Khan. <laughs> Rabia Lareb. <laughs> Akhil Madhushudanan Pillai Sobhana Devi. <laughs> Murtiza Mazid. Sadat Masood. <laughs> Mari Yam Mashroor. <laughs> Minu. Vishmay Minimol. (Applause) 
Ritwik Kishore Bhai Mistri. Jaswant Mogen. Mohammad Mazhar Mustaq. Nitin Nandakumar. Muhammad Hassan Nawaz. Nazia Nazir. Muhammad Atif Nazir. Fulashed Oilola. Harshil Deepak Kumar Panchal. Sharika Parakunnu Parambil. Shubham Parekh. Dhirendra Parmendra Singh Parihar. Reema Parihar. Dhruvi Patel. Jaya Chandrakant Patel. Jaya Kumar Mayur Kumar Patel. Janish Kumar Patel. Kushali Lalit Kumar Patel. Parth Kumar Hetal Kumar Patel. Umang Patel. Yash Jitendra Bhai Patel. For the degree of Master of Science, Prince Patel. For the degree of Master of Business Management, Bhavo Hitesh Bhai Patni. <laughs> Mohammed Zubair Qureshi. <laughs> Hardik Raja Dia. Hushnan Rajvi. Loki Lal Rama Vat. Balaji Rani Kalyan Kumar. Ploy Ratna C. Re Sang Chot. Yes. 
मोहम्मद रिजवान इंद्राक्षी रॉय जय कुमार सवालिया आहाज सलीम सैद जैनब एडिसोला अलुवादेमी शाफारू हिबा शफाकत परिता शैलेश कुमार शाह नाजिया साजिद शेख नामीरा शकील पार्थ माधविज भाई शिंगला मोहम्मद सिद्दीकी अमनप्रीत सिंह गुंजन सिंह रमनीत सिंह समर सिंह मयंक गिरीश कुमार सुथेर तेरा नॉप टंटा नासकाडा रुवांगी धनुषमा पेरिश थेलगी पुण्यकुमारी थेना नकुन थेना नकुन मुद्या सेंगेले रामासामी थिरुगन्नम शमशु उद्दीन अनिरुद्ध मुकुंद वाजे मोहम्मद जुल्का जुल्करैन For the degree of Master of Science, Wahid Abdul. Twenty twenty two twenty three, the Center of Research on Enterprise uh, Innovation Management Internalization Prize for Best Performance in Strategy Operations Entrepreneurship Programs Pre Dissertation Stage. Ahadia Inka Ahde to Bu. For the degree of Master of Science, Ahadia Inaka Ahadia Tubu. For the degree of Master of Science, Michael Agbili. Sharmad Ashan. Adibayo Akin Muda. Denish 
Amen, yo. Shia Shashant Ahman Kar. Muhammad Ashan Arshad. Nuakego Adajwai Arua. Arno Arya. Ola Aluwapo Shali Ayodeji. Shaida Uroz Aziz. Salmots Ibilola Bakari. Jashwant Pawan Balazi. Onin Jo Bisha Shah. Charlotte May Bush. Ansu Teresa Cherian. <laughs> Mohammed Shaheen Cheruka Cheruka Pali. <laughs> Mohammed Nihal Cheru Poil. Emanuela Ch Chioma Chukubudum. <laughs> Mohebet Temitope Adienka Deya Ye. <laughs> Kehin De Eniola. Sahiba Fashel. <laughs> Danyal Gabaji. <laughs> Abola Ji Ramon Gibindin Nulu Ola. Sarves Vivek Ghike. Sravya Sri Goli. Nandini Gopal Krishnan. Ali Hadir. <laughs> Zuhab Hakani. <laughs> Krish Naidu Kuri. Muhammad Hussain. <laughs> Alwaj Milola Rita Ebironeke. <laughs> Osamu Imain Edigae. Kainat Idris. (Applause) 
Nafisha Omoyumi Ejile. Muhammad Islam. Warda Ismail. Amit Dinesh Jaiswal. Jamal Joseph. Jyoti. Surrender Canon Vijaya Lakshmi. Mohammad Monzrul Karim. Satya Veni Kachamuri. Adnan Khan. Kaesh Khan. Shinawats Kong Kiyat Ka Mol. Bhavya Shri Kukakala. Yuva Shri Kovi. Khin Ehdinar Lee. Foyo Y. Lin. Harsh Dilip Bhai Maheshwari. Kushal Dinesh Makwana. Nikhil Manjunath Revankar. Nihar Mayani. Naman Pramod Modi. Muhammad Shaheen. Muhammad Munir. Muhammad Yashir Naim. Neda Naim. Vaithan Vitaldas Nike. Sravanti Numburi. Twenty twenty three twenty four, the EBS Dean's Prize for the Best Postgraduate Dissertation, Shweta Narasimalu. Hezbollah Nashim. Ola Yuni Azoke Adubena. Prince Will Okeche Kudu. Yeah. 
Victor Opara. Mary Oladayo. Mariam Ekeola Olodo. Boluwatif Faith Aluwashin. Ifedoyin Sola Omobitan. Shriti Paramasivam Arul Murugan. Rutul Ben Patel. Shahir Pulicharama Vitel Muzeev. Arun Pushparaj. Shalik Rahman Puthentheri Chalil. Sneha Ramachandran. Harish Ravi. Sharjil Rahman. Rahul Roy. Halima Sadia. Sanjana Sarath. Nauman Zaved Sayad. Sagar Kumar Shah. Krishna Prasad Shanmuga Rajan. Akanksha Sharma. Darshan Bhaskar Shetty. Osama Sokat. Rakhul Sultan Petai Bharat Bharti Dashan. Arvinda Kashun Suresh. Kevin Lawrence Swami. Mudashir bin Tahir. Usama Tahir. Hanender Tanur. Amal Thomas. <laughs> Kelechi Kennedy Udukoro. <laughs> Stephen Thomas Vidaraz.
विजय कुमार विश्वकर्मा शिवम कुमार राजेंद्र कुमार सॉरी our next graduate makes it across the stage um i just wanted to give you a little bit of encouragement because apparently the people at home can't hear us as much as they should do so if you could try um to just put some more clapping in and some more stamping we did really well earlier on uh and I, i'm sorry for delaying you but you're going to get a really good reception as a result <laughs> thank you go ahead thank you uh शिवम कुमार राजेंद्र कुमार व्यास ऋतिक दिनेश वागमोरे नाग थेजा यालापु वीटस Raz Reddy Erwoa Said Zaidi Ola Sozi Joseph Akini Miral Ben Ali Hasan Abbas <laughs> Hewin Ahir <laughs> Bright Anim Twenty twenty two twenty three, the Center for Research on EIMI Prize for Best Performance in SOU Programs Pre Dissertation Stage. Shnasa Satish Bati. Ashwarya Shantaram Chavan. हर्षद भाई रामेश भाई देसाई अर्जुन दुधारे जिया गगनीत सिंह Bodhi Mala Nazukaro Gahwai Asutosh Surendra Giri Mercy Iswambuk प्रकाश मनसुख भाई कोयानी जय संदीप कुमार लिंबाचिया सैफील मंसूरी अहमद अब्दुल्ला मीर अलुवाशुला जॉन ओलोवो कुन
श्री लक्ष्मी राम चंद्रन ध्रुव कुमार कल्पेश भाई पांड्या चिराग पटेल हर्ष कुमार पटेल मीत कुमार पटेल नयन कुमार किरीट भाई पटेल वत्सल रमनलाल पटेल दुर्वेश प्रकाश पाटिल नयन अजीत पाटिल ध्रुपल सलेश भाई पटोरिया मीत अतुल कुमार राज्य गुरु मैथिली मयूर भाई रामानुज मिशेल सावंत सलोनी मनोज कुमार टेम्बोली निर्मल अनिल टंक पार्थ त्रिवेदी हेमंत कुमार वेंकट कृष्णन जीत संजय वोरा हो यन ली इंगशेन लू मधुन मोहन राहजनीश एकुंदरु सुथु यंबुआ विक्रम वेलु मृत्युन जवन बाला कुंजरम गोविंद राजू शब्बैत बाचुल आदित्य पंकज भाई भट रुबेन जेम्स फर्नांडिस Surya Bharati Joseph Durai Sekhar Muhammad Azim Sajid Raza Sneha Bhuvanben Ruru Ashwin Santosh Kumar Applause 
Dhenuka Subramanian. Abidonun Taufik Tiamiu. Ritesh Ishwar Bhai Yawa. For the degree of postgraduate diploma, Charlotte Turnbull. Naveen Suresh Babu. For the degree of postgraduate certificate, Anjan Kumar Mahanr Bhai Bhuwa. For the degree of Master of Science, Ansi Saifuddin. For the degree of Bachelor of Science, Danisha Mihaela Ureche. For the degree of Master of Science, Varinder Jeet Kaur. For the degree of Master of Business Management, Aksa Hamza. Kainat Zahangir. For the degree of Master of Science, Sapna Mukund Kadu. Vivek Yuvarazu. Pro Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of the graduates from the Essex Business School. The Chancellor, Dr. Sarah Perry, who is unable to join us in person today, will now address our new graduates. Hello, dear graduates. I am Dr. Sarah Perry, your Chancellor, and I am delighted to wish you my sincere congratulations on this very happy and momentous day. Graduation is the pinnacle of your studies, the culmination and reward for all your hard work, your dedication, and your pursuit of knowledge. You've done it. All those long nights in the library and those long days spent inside your study bubble, it was all worth it. So today, we celebrate you. I'm enormously proud and honoured to be able to send you this message and to applaud your achievements on this celebration day. But this is not an end, it is a beginning. For whatever path you choose to take now, whatever passion you choose to pursue, whatever road you choose to travel, this moment, your graduation from the University of Essex is the springboard that will propel you onto great things. Because it is not just your education and knowledge you will take with you into the world, it is your Essex spirit that will set you apart from the crowd and raise you up. You are now part of the global Essex family. You join high, stand proud and bask in all you've achieved because really this is the beginning. Now is your time to make your mark, to speak up and show the world what you're really made of. Congratulations to each and every one of you. 
You are a shining example of the value of an Essex education. You are the future, you are Essex, and now you're a graduate. And I can't wait to see what you do next. Kieran Phillips, the president of the Essex Students' Union, will now address our new graduates. To every graduate, many congratulations. Your hard work and your dedication to your studies have paid off, and today you join our Essex alumni community. When I started here, a very wise professor said to me, why talk about the changes you want to see when you could make those changes yourself? Those are words that stuck with me, and today I pass them on to you. Because with an Essex degree, you've learned not just knowledge, but how to change the world also. So many of you during your time here have questioned the status quo. And I know, as you continue to do this throughout your career, you will make the world a better place. At Essex, you haven't just been to university. Whether you are playing a sport, taking part in volunteering, having a sing-along with your mates at Milkit, whatever you were doing, you helped to create a vibrant, happy community that will stay with you throughout your lives. As sure as I am that you will look back at these memories with joy, we will also look back with the same appreciation, thanks to you, our Student Union members. Your infectious energy that you brought to so many of our events made our community a better place, and for that I personally thank you. Whether you were dancing at the Cavalli night or cheering on the performances for Romanian Independence Day, our community is whole. It is the entire world in one place, and you helped us to cherish that. However, behind every graduate, there's also an amazing team of support, whether that is your lecturers, staff in the Student Wellbeing and Inclusivity Service, or your amazing family and friends. Without them, you would not be here today, and without them, you would not be the change seekers that you are. So with that in mind, I want to ask every graduate to stand up and join me in a round of applause for everyone who helped get you here today. Thank you all for that. Before I finish, I want to recognise two very special graduates in this ceremony, Mariam and Charlotte. Since finishing their studies, they have worked as the Vice President for South End for Mariam and an SU trustee for Charlotte, ensuring that students' needs are heard. <laughs> Mariam and Charlotte, I speak for the entire SU family when I say we could not be prouder of your achievement today and we wish you the best. Wherever you go next and whatever change you do make in the world, please remember us because we will certainly remember the joy that we had with you. Congratulations again. Please do enjoy your day, get lots of amazing photos in your gowns and remember that you may be leaving Essex, but Essex will forever be a part of you. I know that every one of you has the ability and the will to change the world and to create a more compassionate, caring society. And I cannot wait to see every single one of you thrive. Please do stay in touch. Good luck and thank you. Next, the Pro Chancellor will close the ceremony. After the procession has left the auditorium, please resume your seats to watch on the screens as our new graduates leave the auditorium and walk across the bridge to square five, where you can meet them. And as they do, I hope you will join me in giving them a final flourish of applause. Pro-Chancellor. 
Well, we've had quite a celebration this afternoon, which has been fantastic, and thank you very much uh, for, for that. Before I get to the formal closing of the ceremony, I just wanted to drop in one other thing. Uh, a, a member of our platform here um, has been at many graduation ceremonies. Uh, there are different estimates, but um, uh, the one I got was 134, but he said earlier he thought it was closer to 200, uh, but will be leaving us in the summer. And that is our Vice Chancellor and Chief Executive, uh, Anthony Forster. It's been an amazing 12-year uh, period at the university. Uh, with so many graduation ceremonies uh, as the university has expanded uh, and some of the courses here today um, wouldn't have been there without the support of our leadership that have uh, made them happen. Um, so I, I want to thank Anthony for everything that he's done. He's truly lived and breathed Essex, including living on the site just up the road. Um, and um, I think uh, in the same way that our graduates sat at the top of the room, will be forever part of Essex. I think Anthony will as well. Anthony, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> and you, you may well be quite tired out by now, but if you'd like to uh, applaud and whoop again, you're very welcome to, after I say, I declare this graduation ceremony closed. <laughs> If you feel able, please may I ask you to stand.
Thank you all for coming. Please enjoy the rest of your day.